This was no ordinary boat test. Gazelle is a 66-foot carbon catamaran customised both for private and charter use and decked out for world cruising. We boarded her in Nassau, Bahamas, and spent four days exploring what I quickly discovered to be some of the world's finest shoal waters. The Exuma Cays are flanked by shallow banks to the west that exclude most large keelboats, but with dagger boards and rudders raised, we could still navigate in four feet of water. With barely a effort to disturb the surface, we were immediately outpacing single-figure wind speeds, this despite being laden down to over 20 tonnes with all the toys for liverboard cruising. Astonishing speed is one of many USPs we soon discovered. Conceived initially by Peter Johnston to be the ultimate fast luxury cruiser to take his family ocean sailing, gunboats have been produced in Cape Town for the last decade, this one following a 62 and a 48 footer. Our second day aboard gifted us with ideal testing conditions. The Force 6-7 that accompanied a passing front providing a potent fuel mix to witness her performance potential. Being able to instantly change gears from a pleasure platform that can sedately chew away sea miles to unleashing her inner animal, power reaching under main and screecher is electrifying. It's like having a Winnebago that converts into a supercar. Cruising at over 20 knots for a sustained period until the adrenaline bubbles over and you get lightheaded, or in my case, grin and giggle somewhat hysterically, was truly something to treasure. Time to wind down, let the pulse recuperate, and appreciate the continued charms of non healing luxury. All meals were taken on the spacious aft deck, which linked seamlessly into one large open plan saloon, galley and navigation area, with companionway steps down to four queen-size ensuite cabins. Here we are in the forward cockpit, which is a real focal area of a gunboat because um, it allows you to control all the sail systems in a very small protected area. You see how deep the combings are around here. A lot of gunboats also have a secondary wheel out here, so you could be steering from here as well, as well as the inside protection area inside. Um, but you can see how well it's set up, just for, you've got two powered winches, one there, one there, and one manual. Um, and then you've got these deep cuddies for the sheets below. So you can lift the boards up here, you can control the sheets each side, and then you've got your main sheet and traveler on the, on the manual winch in the middle. Plus, the anchor windlass comes all the way back to here with foot controls inside as well. So you, it's just one man can drop the anchor without even having to leave the cockpit. Um, and it's just super simple and really easy for one person to control all sail systems on this boat. We are in the forward cockpit locker. Stowage on deck is, is not a problem in general, but check out how much space there is in here. We've got a spare rudder blade, windsurfing board and kit, stay sail, bike, six dive tanks, an air compressor, shelf and lines and fenders. Another level below us which has got all your water skiing, wakeboarding and kite surfing kit, they've got every toy on this boat. Okay, we're in the walk-in engine room here, immaculate, there's two exactly the same in each hole. The only difference being this in the other one, there's a generator across here. Um, but you can see how tight it is, this is the water maker. 
in here and then if I just lift up this one of the most silent engines because of this insulation being a box, box within a box as it were you've got access to a 75 horsepower Volvo fuel filters up here water pumps everything you need to get up really easily and this is an engine room very tidy Proof that I wasn't going delirious and pigs do swim. The Exuma Islands really are something out of this world. With the big red asymmetric or screecher sail up, the 66 can average 13 to 15 knots under autopilot. That's 300 nautical mile plus days, thanks to such easy and crucially non-tiring sail handling and motion at sea. When she starts to lift a hull, you know you're really trucking along at speeds that will embarrass pretty much anything else out there. this type of sailing. Tiptoeing through one of the many tight, shallow cuts that splits this chain of islands, we were spat out into the deep blue Atlantic side. and into trade wind conditions that help cement just how easy that passage making potential is. Swimming around the striking Lamborghini gold metallic hulls and razor sharp bows of gazelle at anchor on our final evening. One main downside of, of gunboats did occur to me. They make every other boat seem kind of, well, ordinary. <laughs> 